Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 4th, 2021. Happy Easter everyone. Hopefully you're having a very beautiful day. Now today we have the focus is fluorite, find peace within and celestite, soothe your soul. These are two, especially uh, celestite is a very angelic crystal, <laughs> okay? So there is this uh, rising up kind of feeling rising up and away from some of the things the turmoil is what they're saying some of the turmoil some of the things that have historically dragged us down now find peace within with the fluorite this is definitely talking about freeing ourselves from restrictions but that doesn't mean go into rebellion mode and make a fool out of yourself just saying okay what the <laughs> what this is is you know find your peace within so you're not plugging into something and feeding what I keep referring to is that thought grid, that toxic thought grid. If we don't feed it, it can't exist. So we're rising out of this. And you might be saying, well, how do I do that? We have to let go of the anger. We have to let go of the resentment, uh, wanting to blame one another for how we feel. If we don't feel good enough, we'll find fault or even in some cases like I got to be careful what I say here, but seeing an attack where no attack was, you know, intended or seeing someone not being loving and supportive when actually they're being there for you in every way, right? But because you don't feel right, you think it's someone else's fault. We have to get out of that, especially guys in this community. A lot of people come to spirituality. I think now we're coming into an era finally where people are finding their way to a spiritual practice because we are awakening things are breaking open that facade is crumbling away and now they have to get get to know this person that is left but historically people would find their way to spirituality because they were suffering whether they were dealing with some sort of trauma whether they just felt like an outsider in some cases people are dealing with mental illness mood disorders check with a therapist with that stuff or a psychiatrist make sure you're getting proper support but a lot of times people just felt like outsiders and so wanted to come to a place where they could be loved and accepted and if they weren't if people were a little thrown by their vision of the world all they had to do was point the finger and say you're judgmental you're not spiritual and that could crush someone's career. <laughs> I mean, people could go on a whole witch hunt if somebody just didn't play into what somebody wanted. I used to get this all the time. Oh, please. If you want to go back and watch some of the earlier videos and look at the comments underneath, whew. And people were like, Michelle, you got a bad attitude. I'm like, step in my shoes, okay? <laughs> this is crazy. And plus, I was on my own and still am on my own spiritual path and my own growth and learning and understanding um, how to be human. But yeah, people would come in and um, hold others accountable for how they felt. And what's more, expecting spirituality within a few words. Comment down below if you're a reader and you've had people come in and expect you to heal their entire life within a few words. Or let me not even heal. I would say fix. Just tell me what to do. So I don't have to think, <laughs> right? And every time I get a client like that, I'm like, please, if it were that easy, I'd be out here, I don't even know, just floating down a lazy river all day. Like, <laughs> you know, it doesn't work like that. So, you know, that was the kind of pressure. People, you know, hungry for healing, but not, in some cases, not always understanding that there is a process involved. And the process is beautiful. We don't give it enough attention for it being a beautiful thing. We just want it to be an equation. If I come in and do the work plus this work, I'll get this outcome, right? And then we find out they've got homework and they've got to meditate and they've got to do their thing and they've got to work through the troublesome things that start to surface for them. They're like, what, what, what? This spirituality thing doesn't work. I remember I had a friend in New York. We went to, I think we went to high tea. Oh, yes. I sound so fancy, but... Girl, I'm sure we had a group on, okay? <laughs> it becomes low T. No, low T, I think I said in another video, low T is a tea bag in a mug at home with a pop tart, okay? That's me watching Netflix, right? But I remember we were at high tea 
And she was sitting there and she started arguing, not just expressing her opinion in a loving way. She was arguing. She was like, no, you're wrong. Uh, cord cutting with the archangels doesn't work. This was also somebody who claimed to be with a twin flame. I mean, okay. But as a sensitive person being around that dynamic, I was like, girl, this is some karma. If ever I felt some, okay. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you, but who am I? What's, it's none of my business. But she would tell me that cord cutting didn't work because she had done it one time and all her problems came back. And I didn't know what to say to that. I think I just went to the little sandwiches and just tried to move on. <laughs> Cause I was like, how do I even explain? That's not how that works. Cord cutting is like vacuuming your rug. Mm -hmm. And you could do it, but if you spill coffee grounds, the bane of my existence, if you spill coffee grounds on your rug, you need to clean that up, right? It's not a one and done kind of thing. But she was looking for a shortcut. God bless her. Love her so much. She was looking for a shortcut and couldn't fathom that she would have to do some work, <laughs> right? So that's what I'm talking about here. We're getting into this space now where we come up to the current time. And I think a lot of us have evolved out of that a bit, but it's still, I don't know, you still have people coming in and they're just looking for that quick fix. This is what makes people vulnerable to the charlatans. Sorry to get on my soapbox here, but that is what gives us a bad reputation because, you know, there are people out there who just want to make money off of other people's pain and not actually be helping. You see what I'm saying here? So this is part of that evolution. This is part of soothe your soul. This doesn't have to be um, a chore, your spiritual practice. It doesn't have to be something that you have to quote unquote accomplish every day. Your focus today is rising up and out of that thought pattern and giving yourself a break. Give yourself a break here. Find that peace within. Then we have grace. Today's all about grace. It is the day of grace, honey. Archangel Jophiel, crown chakra. Archangel Michael, protection. And of course, angels. Man, look at this. <laughs> it's all about the angelic presence, the grace, you know, the wisdom that's coming through. Don't discredit it. Don't think that, oh, that's nothing. Let me just pass that by, okay? Today's a good day to find your own light. So work on it, all right? So we are going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.